everyone, welcome back to Lemon Cake. If you didn't know, I've already done a video playing this game. If you didn't watch my first video playing this game, I do recommend you go back and watch that one. I'll try to put a card on the screen. And in my last video, I asked you guys to let me know if you'd want to see more videos of me playing this game. And so many of you actually commented saying you did want to see more and that made me so happy because I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to get into it, so why don't we just start playing? Okay, here we are and our floor is an absolute mess, so we need to clean this up first before we open the bakery. Let's see, we don't have anything ready for the window display and our tree has been watered, so why don't we quickly make something to go in the window. Um, let's make something easy, like a marshmallow twist. Here we go. And we can go put this in the window. Oh, we already have someone here. Oh, they want a marshmallow twist. Well, you could have just taken one out of the window display, but that's okay, I'll make you a fresh one. Oh, and we have a new customer. Okay, why don't we try making a chocolate chip cookie? We'll need some cocoa for this. There we go. Let's mix it together. Put it in the oven. And we need some firewood, of course. Now that's cooking. Um, we can start making another marshmallow twist to go in the window display. Okay, and this person wants another marshmallow twist. Oh my goodness. Let's get started making this for him. I always forget I have to click on the recipe first before I can start baking it. Wow, this floor really needs cleaning. So let's get this sweeped up and let's bake another marshmallow twist. Let's put this in the window. Since it's lunchtime, we need to keep the window display fully stocked. Oh my goodness, she wants another marshmallow twist. Let's just pretend it's National Marshmallow Day or something. <laughs> everyone wants one of these. I suppose in my last video, everyone wanted chocolate croissants, but today everyone wants a marshmallow twist, so that's okay with me. Let's get making another one. <laughs> What the heck is going on? Everyone just wants one of these. Oh, I need to water my tree. There we go. Oh my goodness, things are so busy today. Let's get this made. Let's go put it in the window. We need to clean this table so people can sit down. This floor needs cleaning. Awesome, now it's all sparkly and clean. For some reason, whenever I play this game, Archie comes into my room and starts meowing at me. I'm really not sure what it is, but he did this last time I was playing it. He just came in and started meowing and laying next to me. So if you can hear him in the background, I am sorry about that, but I know a lot of you guys don't actually mind. He is a sweetheart. He just likes to be next to me, I guess, especially when I'm playing lemon cake for some reason. Oh my goodness, people want so many chocolate croissants. This is what I get for making them so well. They've become famous. Okay, let's give them chocolate croissant number one. Now we need to go get the second one. How cute, they're like on a chocolate croissant date. Oh my goodness, this game makes me so hungry. Oh, new day, new recipe. Which one will you pick, Lulu? Okay, so it's time to pick a new recipe. We're at level five now. So we can have a strawberry donut, which is flour, sugar, and strawberries. We can have egg benedicts, but we don't have an egg. And we can have cherry jelly, but again, we don't have cherries. Um, we don't have strawberries either, but I think I'll get the strawberry donut because I imagine we might unlock strawberries first, seeing as this recipe popped up first. There we go, so this table needs cleaning, excuse me. Thank you very much. And the floor needs cleaning. I love the evening time in this game, it's so relaxing. Thank you so much for coming, have a nice evening. And there we go, that was our lovely day. Let's make another marshmallow twist to go in the window for tomorrow. Good job today, Lulu. So we baked three pastries, we served 11 customers, we got four perfect orders, seven good orders, and we earned £11.65. So why don't we play a round of our menu? Because our menu was actually left from the last time we played. So recipe has been on the menu too often recently. Why don't we change things around? So our sweet pretzel is a C plus grade. Uh, maybe we can add that or... Our strawberry donuts, we don't have strawberries yet. We could add a sweet roll. We could try a baguette, but now our tip has gone down to only 13%. We could try chocolate cookies. With the sweet roll, it goes up to 25%. Though I'm not sure I want the sweet roll on my menu. Why don't we just stick with what we were going with already? Because I haven't had a chance to bake much cookies yet. And here's the shop. So we have £26. And I really want to get these new hats and aprons. Oh, they're only £25. So we can actually buy these. Ooh, time to change up your style. You can add hats and aprons to your outfit, just like a professional baker would wear. Awesome! But now we only have one pound. <laughs> Are you sure you wanna start the new day? Yep, let's go. So I'm actually recording this in the morning and 
my boyfriend Tyler has actually gone out to our apartment to go do some decorating and he's at work as well, he's working from home at the moment um, which has been really nice because we get to see each other all the time and we just love being together, we're not one of those couples that fights when we're together too much because we both have our own hobbies and stuff like that and we just love being next to each other while we do our own thing so we've been really enjoying him working from home and yeah today he's still working from home but he's gone to our new flat to do some decorating while he's answering calls and stuff for work and so I'm home alone at the moment um, but it's the morning time we didn't have any breakfast we got up really early because obviously Tyler has to be ready to go on the phones for work it takes a while to drive to our flat so we had to get up really early yeah we had our usual cup of tea in the morning but we haven't eaten and um, it's getting to lunch time now and I'm so hungry so I'm not sure playing this game was the best idea um, I know a lot of you guys said in my last video in the comments that uh, watching this made you really hungry this game definitely makes me really hungry as well um, actually my friend Sarah messaged me a picture of herself getting a chocolate croissant and she said this is because of you I'd love to hear if any of you just went out and bought chocolate croissants after the last video because actually my boyfriend did as well Tyler went and bought me some chocolate croissants which is so weird do you guys ever have someone in your life that is just like almost telepathic like Tyler went out to the supermarket and he was only supposed to be getting cat food and in my head I was thinking oh I really want a chocolate croissant but I didn't say anything and then he came back with chocolate croissants what the heck is that about? I'm so lucky <laughs> but yeah they're really good we don't get them often because actually there's not really anywhere in my town that sells chocolate croissants so we have to actually drive somewhere to go get them but once we moved into our own place it might be a bit easier because we'll be closer to the supermarket oh and our chocolate croissant in the game is done so why don't we go give this to someone here you go Oh, I love him in his little t-shirt. How cute. Okay, why don't we make some chocolate cookies? We need some flour and we need some cocoa. Here we go. Oh, our plant needs watering. <laughs> Let's mix these together. We can put it in the oven. Uh-oh, lunch rush is starting soon. I need to water my plant first. There we go, nice and green. That reminds me, I really need to water the plants in my actual, in real life room. I have lots of succulents and plants I keep on my windowsill. And um, after Archie got sick, and he started to get better and jump around again. I had to move all of my plants off of the windowsill near my bed because he was just obsessively trying to get onto the windowsill and I knew he would just knock them all off. So I had to take them all off and put them on my other windowsill and that means I actually forgot about some of them and I went back to look on my plants recently because I remembered <laughs> that I had them and I feel so bad because a couple of my plants have just died because I forgot to water them and my mum always like makes fun of me and says that I'm terrible at taking care of plants but I'm not it was just this one time yeah sometimes when you first start taking care of plants it's a bit difficult to know how much water they need and how much sun they need with succulents you can kind of just like dehydrate them for ages so luckily my succulents are okay but I had this little plant that had little flower buds on it and I'm not sure if it's just like died because it's winter time but it's supposed to be an indoor plant so I'll just have to wait and see until spring but honestly I don't think it's alive anymore it looks so dead and so yeah I don't know what to do now I just have the little plant a leftover we baked six pastries we served nine customers we got one perfect order and eight good orders and made £14.60 okay so oh yeah we never put our new clothes on so we should do that at some point add cozy furniture for cats they'll visit your store every day I've actually seen a picture of this because when Eloise, the developer of this game, sent me um, the email giving me the early access, she sent me some pictures of the game as well to use in thumbnails and stuff and one of them was of loads of cats. So I really, really want this little cat cafe thing. I've seen how cute it is and I really, really want it and I think if you guys haven't seen it already, you'll really, really like it. But let's get this strawberry plant for now because we can actually afford it and that means we can sell better recipes and make more money. And why don't we play with the menu a little bit? Why don't we take the chocolate cookie off and add the strawberry donut now that we have strawberries. And oh my goodness, our tip is 75%. That's really good. Looks like we have a really good menu today then. Let's start a new day. And actually, how do I change my outfit? I think I have to go into the menu, like the escape menu. There we go. Oh, here it is, wardrobe. So here's our character. She's so cute. Let's see. Oh, look at the little aprons. A little fluffy sheep one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are the ones we can choose from. I definitely want this little fluffy one. <laughs> and here's our hats. We have chef hats, berets. Oh my goodness. Oh, cat ears. I thought we'd have to unlock them later. 
a little witch hat, a pancake hat, a pie hat, ice cream, and we even have glasses. That's so lovely. Okay, I definitely want the cat ears. I'm thinking the white ones because they match our characters so well. Look how cute we are. Okay, so let's start the day. Why are we carrying a little frying pan with nothing on it? That's weird. I suppose we should make some marshmallow twists for the window. I saw someone in the comments of my last video say that they agreed with me about this reminded them of Facebook games. This really reminds them of this Facebook game called Cafe World and it made me so excited because I used to play Cafe World and I used to play all those games so much growing up. I literally got a Facebook account when I was like 11 years old just because I wanted to play Farmville and all the little cafe games. And so playing games like this just makes me feel so happy and makes me feel like a kid again because I would spend hours playing those games and it was so nice. If you're a bit younger, you might not actually know what I'm talking about, but basically back in the day, Facebook had this whole gaming thing where you could play on your computer and there were so many games to play. There was a lot of games actually a lot like Animal Crossing. There was one I really loved called Pet Society. Um, there was Farmville. I think everyone knows what Farmville is because there's an app of it now, but I honestly think the original Farmville, the first one on Facebook, was the best one and they recently closed it, which made me really sad because just listening to the original Farmville soundtrack makes me actually feel super emotional. I know that's super lame, but I just have to be honest, I listened to the original Farmville soundtrack and it just brought back so many memories of when I was younger playing those games all day. And they were so cute as well because you would have to like ask your Facebook friends to help you get things in the game. I think nowadays people find that really annoying. Um, I don't think anyone really plays the Facebook games anymore. I know I did actually try to play my old Farmville um, from when I was like 11 years old and it was like so many pop-ups and it wasn't running very well. Yeah, the games don't really work as well anymore. I know that Facebook does have this whole like Facebook gaming thing, but I don't think anyone our age even really uses Facebook nowadays. I know I don't, I just do not like that platform <laughs> at all. But yeah, back in the day those games were so much fun and I would just spend hours and hours playing them and this game really reminds me of those games but it's honestly, it reminds me of them just because it's so much fun, just super addicting to play. And like I said in my last video, there's not that many games I know of where you run a bakery like this unless they're like competitive games talking about games like Overcooked that you play with your family or your friends and you will have to try cook as many things and whatever there's none that are like more relaxing that you can play on your own like this one so that's why I really like this game I know that the developer of this game is putting a lot of work into it so I actually saw on Eloise's Twitter page that they're planning to add um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it I think it's vitiligo and different sorts of skin conditions like that that you can have for your character which I think is so lovely because there's games like The Sims that haven't added that feature which doesn't make any sense to me because The Sims is all about representing yourself and creating characters that are like real life people and it's a life simulator right so surely a life simulator should have things that actual real life people have like vitiligo and speaking of there was this farming game that um people were talking about my discord server a while back and i thought it looked so cute but then one of my viewers told me that you had to pay to get a different skin color like you automatically have white skin and you can't have like darker skin or any other color skin without spending actual money on the game which is just disgusting to me so i decided not to play that game on the channel because i just thought that was just horrible i think it's really really lovely that the developer of this game is really thinking about its players and trying to make them feel more represented in the game and yeah if you want to see the pictures of what the characters look like with the different uh, skin conditions i think eloise did post that on her twitter account and i'll try link her twitter account in the description. I just think that was really really amazing and I'm sure if any of you out there have vitiligo then that would make you really happy because I honestly don't know many games that actually let you have that. Okay so we've finished most of the day now we need to water our plants. There we go. Oh and a table needs cleaning up. So does my floor. So why don't we head out here clean the table. There we go and go in here and sweep the floor so our food doesn't get all dirty. Oh, good job today, Lulu. We baked five pastries, served 11 customers, got three perfect orders, eight good orders, and made £15.73. Okay, I can't wait until we can cook more than three things at once. Let's see if we can buy anything in the shop. Um, I actually think I just want to keep saving my money for the cat cafe because it's really, really expensive. So if I just keep playing and saving up my money, eventually we'll be able to buy it. I think that'll be really good. So let's start the new day, we need to clean the kitchen first. So we need a strawberry, 
let's put this in the bowl and mix it um, so if you guys watched my Q&A video a while back a lot of people wondered if I like strawberries and basically I said in that video that I don't like them but I really want to like them and some people found that quite funny that I was like trying to force myself to like strawberries <laughs> well, it was pancake day recently and I bought strawberries and blueberries to put on the pancakes and I tried to force myself to like strawberries but again I just couldn't like them I'm not sure what it is I really want to like them but I just don't <laughs> it makes me really sad because I want to like them this is how I felt growing up with broccoli I know this is probably super weird but yeah when I was younger I really wanted to like broccoli but I just didn't but now as an adult I absolutely love broccoli so I'm hoping if I just keep trying to make myself like strawberries eventually I will and then I'll be able to enjoy things like in this game like the strawberry donut and everything I'm not sure what to do because I have a chocolate croissant in my hand but I can't make a marshmallow twist and the table's full because it has a donut on it so I can't make this person's order unless someone comes in and orders a chocolate croissant this was a bad decision this is what I get for pre-making too much food oh my goodness what am I gonna do oh no oh well, I suppose I could put it in the window display there we go okay <laughs> now we can make the marshmallow twist Oh my goodness, I really should buy more tables before I start pre-making food like that. There you go, here's one marshmallow twist. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's put the oven back on. Yeah, um, some of you guys said in my last video you thought that this series would be really nice to be like a chill with me series. So I hope you guys don't mind me like just chatting about other things while I play. I'm so happy when we unlock more recipes. I can't wait until we start unlocking like brownies and cakes and everything. Oh my goodness, I've made myself so hungry now. Oh, I don't know what to do, I'm just so hungry. I suppose I'll just play a couple more days on this and then I have to go and eat something. Um, if you can hear something in the background, that's just Archie cleaning himself. Hopefully it isn't too distracting. Though some of you guys said you enjoyed hearing Archie purr in my last video. Um, so if you didn't know, I actually have an Instagram page and I uploaded a video of Archie purring. Just for those people that enjoy listening to it because I love Archie's purr. He has a really loud, very distinct purr. I've never met a cat that purrs the way he does. It's just like very different. Oh no, we burnt our donut! Oh no, we burn it! I suppose let's just put it in the bin. What would you like? Oh, a marshmallow twist. Okay, easy peasy. Oh my goodness, I really need to clean this floor. Uh, marshmallow twist, mix it together. There we go. Oh my goodness, that makes us so slow. We really need to keep the window displays full since it's lunchtime. Let's clean this table. Another marshmallow twist. How come these have become so popular? I'm not sure if they make us a lot of money or not. I imagine because they're easier to make, they don't earn you much money, though I'm not sure. I should probably check that at some point. Luckily I had this donut ready, so here you go. Finally it's the evening time. So everything starts to slow down around now. Let's clean this table. There we go. Maybe we should finally clean these floors. Sweep up all the dirt. Nice and clean. Good job today, Lulu. We baked two pastries. Burnt one pastry! Oh no! Our first time burning a pastry. Well, why don't we fiddle around with our menu again? Why don't we add the new stuff, which is the chocolate strawberry? Oh my goodness, and now our tip is at 63%. Wasn't it at 75% the other day though? Let's see, I only get 25% with the donut. So we should probably just go with the chocolate strawberry. Your menu doesn't have much variety. Hmm. Well, I think it's okay for now. Um, again, I don't think I'm going to buy anything because I want the cat cafe and it costs £135. We only have £28 at the moment, so we're going to have to keep playing to try and earn some more money. But there's so many things here that we still have to unlock yet. I don't think I want another display counter in the window because I can barely keep the first two full. I love that we have little cat ears and an apron now. It looks like we own a little cat cafe. And once we actually have the cat items, it's going to be even better. And I really want to know if, like... The customers can interact with the cats because i think that'd be so cute honestly i'd really love to open a cat cafe where i live because i love cats they make me feel so peaceful they're, they're so lovely and i love cafes wouldn't it just be so great to own a cat cafe i know they have tons of them in japan but i don't think we have many over here um especially not in my area because my area has nothing so <laughs> cat cafes are a definite no but let's put our chocolate strawberry in the window and now the day started so we need to start baking usually people want marshmallow twists so let's make one 
ready to go in the window and put it on our little table. I forgot to use this table in my last video actually because I unlocked it and then I just completely forgot that I had it because it blends in so well with the background. I just didn't even notice that I had it there. Okay, this person wants another marshmallow twist. Oh my goodness. Here you go, here's your marshmallow twist. How many times have I said marshmallow twist in this video? Because people keep ordering it. I wanted my chocolate croissants to become famous, not my marshmallows. There we go, the table's nice and clean, and she wants another marshmallow twist. I suppose they're super easy for me to make, so it's no problem. Here you go. Hello, what can I get you? Are you going to take the strawberry out the window? You probably are. We should probably put the oven on. Oh, a table needs cleaning up, so let's go out here and clean it. There we go. They did take the chocolate strawberry, so we should make something else to go in the window. We need some cocoa. And of course we need our strawberry. Oh no, my plants need to be watered again. I'll have to do that in a moment, but let's put the chocolate strawberry on display. Can I take your order please? Oh no, they want another chocolate strawberry. Oh no. Okay, we have cocoa. We have the strawberry. Quick, mix it together. Someone else is here. Oh, they want a chocolate strawberry too. Oh no, but my plants need to be watered. Quickly, quickly, let's water them. Luckily the strawberry plant already has a strawberry on it. Okay, let's grab the cocoa. Who knew that so many people would want chocolate strawberries? Mix it together. Oh no, our kitchen's getting dirty. Here you go. Clean the table. Oh no, our window displays are empty. Oh my goodness, my fingers are hurting from using the keyboard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really not used to using a keyboard and this crazily as well. The shop has been so busy, my little hands can't take it anymore. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they want a marshmallow twist. Awesome. So I didn't even have to make that one, but we're going to make another one anyway to put in the window display. Oh, they want a chocolate croissant. Finally, someone wants one. Let's get making it. Okay, finally we need the cocoa. Oh, I'm so hungry, guys. What about you? I really hope if you're watching this that you have, like, some yummy pastries to eat, or, like, cake, or some chocolate or something, because... You know what's the worst is when you're watching someone talk about food or make food and you're hungry and you don't have any food. I absolutely hate that. Do any of you guys have like certain things you have to eat when you're watching something? For me, me and my boyfriend always watch something with dinner, but we can't watch anime with dinner because we'll be looking down at our plates too much to know what's going on and read the subtitles. So we always make sure to watch anime when we're not eating and they're eating like crisps or something. Are there any certain films you watch where you have to eat something? For me, if I'm watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I have to have chocolate with me because I just can't get through that movie without craving lots of chocolate. So every time I watch that movie, I have to eat chocolate. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have to have pastries or chocolate or something when you're watching these videos because just playing this game makes me super hungry. Um, but that may just be because it's almost lunchtime. <laughs> and finally, it's the evening. Good job today, Lulu. We earned £13. Oh, and we got another achievement. Bakery startup. This will be tasty. So, uh, maybe we should change up the menu. Maybe we should try it without the marshmallow twist and see how difficult things are. Maybe we could switch it up to the strawberry donut. Then we get a tip of 25% of that. Let's see, what about sweet pretzel? We get a tip of 50% with the sweet pretzel. Oh, and we get the same if we have a chocolate cookie instead of a strawberry donut. So maybe we should have this as our menu. What about if we change the marshmallow twist? Oh no, it goes down. Okay, so we need to have the chocolate strawberry for the 50% tip. And again, we're not going to buy anything today because we're saving our money for the cat cafe. Let's put stuff in the window, open the bakery, clean up this mess on the floor. I really hope you guys are enjoying this sort of video where I can just chat to you and cook in my bakery and unlock things. Again, the same as last time, if you do want to see more videos of this game, you have to let me know in the comments and you're going to have to leave a like on the video just so I know that you're interested because recently I've been planning to play a lot of different games on the channel but I don't know which ones are going to stick or not and it really is down to your guys' feedback. If this is the sort of video that you enjoy, please do let me know in the comments. Please do leave a like on the video and let me know that you enjoy it and that you'd want to see more because that's the way that I know to continue. There we go, it's a chocolate strawberry. This person wants a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, that's something that I noticed is different in America. So you guys call like all biscuits cookies. Oh, and this is something that bothers me. If you're one of my American friends, you already know this bothers me because this is something that we all joke about. But you guys in America, you call scones biscuits, right? 
because you guys you have stuff with like roast dinner like gravy and stuff and you call that biscuits what is that about what that is not a biscuit i'm just here to argue with you right now that is not a biscuit a biscuit is like a cookie or like a digestive biscuit you guys do have digestive biscuits in america right i'm sure you do if you don't what do you eat <laughs> i just love to know um do you call scones biscuits do you know how wrong it sounds for an english person to say i'm gonna eat biscuits with gravy it just sounds so disgusting that is like the worst thing you could ever say imagine eating gravy on top of a chocolate chip cookie because that's what everyone's imagining <laughs> it's really interesting to me like all the differences we have just between england and america even though we speak the same language we have so many different things that are different in our culture like i see all these tweets as well like making fun of english people and especially our food i see that often and it's something that bothers me a bit to be honest because why should anyone make fun of someone else's food and their culture like i would never make fun of what someone eats as part of their culture because that's just what's normal in their country but for some reason on twitter people love to make fun of what english people eat and the way we say things i'm just saying if you guys are gonna hate on the way we talk and stuff i'm allowed to say you don't eat biscuits of gravy, that is disgusting. <laughs> of course, I'm only joking around, so please don't take me seriously. Okay, well, I think that was our last day. I've had fun rambling about things. Oh, because I just kind of ended on my rant about food and stuff on Twitter, I just want to say a lot of the stuff you see on Twitter that say British people say things a certain way is not true at all. Like, I saw this tweet the other day that said all British people say schedule. I don't know anyone that says schedule. We say schedule. I just think that was really weird and like so many people were liking it and like making fun of British people for it and I was just sat there like we don't even say that like why is everyone believing this you guys call crisps chips so that's the end of my rant okay I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about random things while playing lemon cake I hope you guys enjoy watching me play lemon cake if you do want to see more of this series please do let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you want me to like do while I'm playing this game please do let me know. My current goal is to unlock the cat cafe, which is going to cost a lot of money. So currently I'm going to try saving for that. Maybe I should play a bit off camera to earn some more money. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be really happy to hear your thoughts on it. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much for the love on this series, especially on the last episode. I was really happy to hear you guys wanted to see more. So again, if you do want to see more of this, please do let me know in the comments once again, just so I know whether to continue this or not. But I'm actually going to leave it here for today, guys. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank Thank you all so much for watching i hope you're having a lovely day if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all in my next video bye <laughs>